Sonic High School, Chapter 4. Sonic did like the first chapter and went to school again. Now it's lunchtime and Sonic was in the lunch room. Sonic was telling all of the people at his table who were Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, Espio, and Charmy B about what, ha- what did happen yesterday. But Tails already knew, so he was nodding his head like a good friend. You should have seen it, said Sonic. I was in the haunted house and I shot Eggman, but I let him get away right before I could have killed him. Sonic laughed and Tails laughed at the same time. Knuckles said, You should stop going on these cool adventures because high school is more important. Said Knuckles and Sonic knew he was right because it's called Sonic High School and it would be more about the high school part. So Sonic asked him what they're up to. Well, I am entering science competition, said Tails. To win the science competition, I have to come up with the best invention and my invention is this invisibility hat. It makes you invisible, but I can't do it right now because I have to make sure it works perfect for the science competition. Tails was so smart that Sonic knew he would win the science competition because Tails is like Einstein. Nerd shout Knuckles right into Tails' ear. What a bad guy. I am just hanging out and not going to class because I want to cause trouble, said Knuckles. Knuckles was so bad that he could cause trouble. Sonic thought Knuckles was a fuck. Shadow was next, and he was badder than Knuckles, but in a different way. I'm not going to be around much longer, said Knuckles. He always did, at the end of what he was saying, because it was mysterious. Where are you going, said Tails, because he was curious. I am going to kill my parents, said Shadow. See, this is how Shadow is worse than Knuckles. He did serious bad things. At least at the end of the day, Knuckles could sleep. Shadow was too dark for that. I am going to try out for the football team, said Espio. Espio was athletic like Sonic, but not as fast, but he had a horn on his nose that was good for attacking people in front of him, so Sonic thought he would be good at football. I am going to try out for the play, said Charmy B. Charmy B was loud and singing always. You're an annoying fag, so you should do great, said Knuckles. Do not hurt my feelings, said Charmy. Charmy was used to being hectored, so he was able to remove himself from his potent fury. Did you see Rouge just now, said Espio? She is looking so hot in her tiny bra. Espio obviously wanted to kiss her deep. You should ask her out, said Sonic. But prom was yesterday, said Espio. Well, that is okay. You can date any time, said Sonic. Oh, said Espio. Well, then I am going to kiss and sex her tonight. Espio was like a little boy looking at his mom's boob for the first time. Sonic and Tails together were both looking at each other and they wanted to help Espio. We are going to help you get a date, said Sonic and Tails, at the same time simultaneously. And we are going to do it right now, said Sonic and Tails. Sonic and Tails got up and both grabbed one of Espio's arms and dragged him across the room. Sonic did most of the dragging because he is stronger. And put him right at Rouge. What is this about, said Rouge, with a questioning sound. She blinked her eyelids quickly like a race car. What do you want? Why are you here? Espio looked right into her eyes with a passion like a hundred barking dogs, and said, Rouge, will you go out with me? Espio was sweating, and there were drops of sweat dropping of his hands in front of her. I don't know, said Rouge, and looked at Espio. Rouge gave him a sexy look that made Espio feel in love. Please do it, said Sonic and Tails, together at the same time. Okay, we can go on a date tonight, said Rouge. Sonic and Tails and Espio were stoked and high-fived right there. By the time this night had ended, one of them would have done their first sex. Now here's the hard part, said Espio. How do I put sex in her without getting in trouble? Sonic and Tails looked at each other and thought, Uh oh, and Espio walked out while holding on to Rouge boobies, because they are now boyfriend and girlfriend, and it's allowed to do it. <laughs>